So continuing on here, uh, just to let you know, I switched the um, the back uh, plane of the aircraft. This this um, the black uh, the, the back refer the reference that was in the front here to the back of the aircraft because I wanted to have the back um, the front view of the aircraft instead of the back view of the aircraft here. So. All right, so to uh, start out here, I'm going to be probably modeling the uh, the cockpit area first. Well, one of the other things I like to do is you select your editable poly, and then click on your modifier stack and select a turbo smooth from your drop down menu. This allows you to see a smooth result of your aircraft while you're modeling. And then you can turn on and off your turbo smooth or your symmetry modifier just by clicking on the little uh, light bulb icons. So press X, um, Alt X again on your keyboard, and for the cockpit area, select your editable poly and select your edge mode. And then what you want to do is you want to go all the way down to a button called Cut, and you want to click. And let me see here. Um, actually, I'm going to deselect that. We're going to select vertex first and what we're going to do is we're going to select these vertexes and move them down so that they are in line with the top of our uh, windows here and then what we want to do is select edge and get our cut button again you want to click and you want to drag your cut all the way to probably there and do the same for the top area here And you want to continue this cut all the way to the edge here. So another way you can do it is you can click on show end result on off toggle button here. While you're in like a um, an, an edit mode of polygon or vertex or whatever. And that will allow you to see the other side of the aircraft while you're modeling and doing selections. And uh, what it does is it gives you this uh, subdivision surface cage around your model which is actually qu quite annoying in my opinion so to turn that off you can just click on show cage to turn that off so what we have here is we have the main windows of our cockpit area selected here And what we want to do is we want to set them up so that they are properly um, uh, set up as windows. So we're going to get rid of this um, this line here. So select it and click on remove. And then uh, for creating the windows, let's um, select our cut command again and all we have to do is slice this in half here and continue this line up here and we can make sure that these two um, that's uh, connected properly so in the vertex mode collapse And we can actually deselect this one here. Actually, that's that one's pretty good. We'll leave that there. So 
So next, to make these windows more stable, what we need to do is we need to create some more lines here and connect them. So select just all these top areas here, and we're going we're gonna to connect these with one line here. And then to connect them further, click on your, edit, no, your vertex mode and select these two vertexes, and then click on connect, so it connects the line to them. So there's a line that's going all the way over to the top. And we want to do this for the for the bottom half of the aircraft too. We can actually do a two um, lines here. So let's give this a two segments. Click OK. And go into our vertex mode again. This way it makes the, um, the topology uh, much more um, precise and stable. Now I think that um, the windows could come out uh, come out a little bit, so I'm going to move that outwards and move these upwards slightly. And now what we're going to do is we're going to inset these. So I'm going to select this just this polygon here, and we're going to click on inset. And you want it to be by group and then inset it just a little bit. I did a 0 0.063 here and do that for each window here and then this window here is, which is the front window we want to inset them like this So now that you have the windows here, let's just select all the inside of the windows. And what we're going to do is we're going to extrude them inwards. So what we want to do is this one we want to select a uh, local normal and actually select group. Group is best. And let's um, we want to extrude them inwards a little while, a little ways. That's a bit too much, actually. All we need is just a little bit. So that looks that looks really good. So what it's, it's going to be negative uh, zero point zero eighteen. that should be it for the windows there. Now if we select our turbo smooth you'll actually see the windows turn kind of into a rounded corner type deal and we actually don't want that. So to fix that um, what we're gonna do is we need to do we need to delete this uh, edge here so click on edge mode remove and we can uh, create another edge there select cut and just connect it to the middle of that right there. You click on your turbo smooth again you can see how it um, arranges the uh, polygons. And next what you want to do is select your um, edge again and click on ring so it rings them all there and click on your connect settings and this time all, all, all we want to do is give it one uh, a one segment and we can leave the 90 there and we'll just add another we'll just add another 90 here or a negative 90 we want negative 90 click OK 
and then we want to go into our left viewport here and you want to drag a selection box around all the front areas of the cockpit and select your settings again connect settings take away um, negative 90 down to 0 on the uh, slide you want the pinch of 90 and you want segments of 2 now when we select our turbo smooth we get some square windows to actually see the windows a little bit better why don't we select our polygon mode here texture the windows a different color texture let's select a more of a dark dark blue texture maybe even give it a little specular value a little glossiness 